Hey everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh Basinger here and once again I'm joined with Seth Overbay. What's going on everybody? And we got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe for more disc golf videos. We're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships. This is the final nine. This is where the whole entire tournament comes to a head. As you can see, Dickerson has quite a lead. He's got 13 strokes right here on uh, Lutz, who is in second place at 48 down, Johnny McRae at 45 down, and uh, a couple of faces we haven't seen on this coverage yet. We've got Sam Lee of Discraft and Nicholas Masters of Prodigy Disc. So we're doing the back nine at Rotary Disc Golf Course uh, here in Morristown, Tennessee. Start off on hole 10, 450 feet. Okay, first on the tee, two-time defending champion, Setting at 61 under par from Limestone, Tennessee, Chris Dickerson. So we've got tournament director H.B. Clark there. We'll let him announce who's coming up on the tee. As you see here, Prodigy sponsor Chris Dickerson. Hole 10 here is uh, pretty much just a wide open shot. There is OB on the left side, but most of that's not going to be coming into play. Yep, it looks like Chris and uh, all these other righties are just going to be trying to attack the basket with the hyzer. They got nothing to lose here in this final nine. Chris looks like he's got on that one pretty good. That's just outstanding. Yep, ends up being a little bit deep. Sitting in second place at 48 under par from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Joey Lutz. So as you saw, Joey Lutz a full flight here on the tee. Um, Joey may be going with a forehand. No, it looks like he's actually lining up a backhand. Yep, he's just going to be throwing the hauser as well, once again, righty. Joey had said he's been trying to stay to backhands as most as he could this weekend because of a blister. Currently in third place from Dover, Florida, 45 under par, Johnny McCray. Did you see here? Uh, Johnny McCray of Latitude 64. He's been crushing this, uh, was it a Raider? No, Recoil. A Gold recoil, line Recoil. Yeah. He's putting good moves on that disc all week long. Looks like he's turned it over a little bit, but it's flexing back. Great shot. In a tie for fourth place at 42 under par from Mount Sterling, Kentucky, Sam Lee. Yep, fellow lefty here, Sam Lee. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had him actually on the uh, tournament covers this year for the 2019 Morristown Spring Fling. Absolutely crushed a new goal S on hole one. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. Same here. Flexing the lefty backhand, trying to go under that tree and give himself a putt. He does that just perfectly. A lot of distance. And tied for fourth place, also at 42 under par from Jacksonville, Florida, Nicholas Masters. Nick Masters. And prodigy. So uh, Nick is somebody that I've actually never filmed before, so it was good to see a, another face here on some BD, BDGC coverage. Looks like he's going with the uh, Roddy Heiser as well. Yep, might have just hung that one out a little bit right and just never gave it a chance to come back to the left. Up against the OB fence, but he's okay. Mm-hmm. Probably going to be laying this one up for a three here. Uh, can't be too aggressive because there's uh, the basket's on a hill, and then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is OB at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, it looks like he kind of just laid that one up. Mm -hmm. Now, Joey here is probably trying to give it everything he got, probably trying to do everything in this final line, trying to do what he can to make up some strokes on Dickerson. Yep, mm -hmm. it's a good run from Joey. Mm -hmm. Johnny, little Annie run and just low. It's mm -hmm. a great run though. Oh yeah. So here's uh, Nicholas Masters for his three. Yep. Great putter though. Let's see if he can put this one in. Oh wow. That's, that's brutal. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Sam just with an absolute crush here. 
Oh, wow. Just left that one low as well. Mm -hmm. Sure he wants that one back. Dickerson, after going long past the pin, no big deal, just 450 feet, you know, uphill. Oh. And Dickerson misses as well. Uncharacteristic from all these guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of nerves because we had uh, probably what was the biggest gallery that we had had all weekend during this final nine. Uh, quite a few people walking around. Yep, all these guys are just going to clean up though. We're going to move on to hole 11. <laughs> so it looks like uh, all threes except Nick with that un unfortunate spit out got a uh, bogey four on that one. Moving on to hole 11, 485 feet. Uh, par four will be on the right side and the left side, the soccer fields, but these guys, that's not going to come into play uh, unless uh, some sort of crazy roll. Yep. All these players, once again, are going to just be trying to throw, you know, flip ups, righty hazards, except for Sam. And that's looking really good from Chris. Anywhere up there, really, these guys are going to be able to get up and down. Mm -hmm. But that definitely makes it a lot easier. It's crushed from Chris. Yeah. Joey here, uh, the owner of 58 career wins. Three of those wins in 2019. Just an all-around solid player. Almost put that one in the short pin. Yep, he's getting a good position as well. Johnny there with a little toss. Mm -hmm. Birdie peg. Throwing that recoil once again. Putting some angle on it. That's way up there as yep. well. Fellow lefty here, Sam Lee. Mm -hmm. Sam's had a strong year with nine wins in 2019. Two of those, a couple of those were uh, B-tier wins as well. Yeah, that's a great drive from Sam. Mm -hmm. Once again, past that last tree. Let's see what Nick can do here. Yep, just ripping on a hyzer. Mm -hmm. um, actually, over there to the right side, actually quite a bit easier for the upshot. It just kind of leaves those trees out of play, but all these guys are kind of more to that left side. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, not a lot harder, but just kind of makes it a little bit more precise on your shot. Mm -hmm. Actually, pretty hard to see the basket from your upshot here. It, it's right in between those uh, small pines there, but. Uh, most of the time when you're up here where they're at, as you can see where Nicholas is here, you can't really see the basket, so. Looks like he's going to be throwing a putter over the top, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully just try to get up and down from here. Yeah, he's yeah. there, though. Yeah, it fell down. Sam going to the forehand. Just a little Very, touch forehand mm -hmm. shot. Very smooth. looking at a jump putt over the top. Yep, just not quite enough. Chris here actually has a putt. Mm -hmm. Just that low ceiling there having to contend with. It's funny to see him still. Looks like he's really going for it, even with such a big lead, still just staying in his game, what he's comfortable with. Yep. Doing what Chris does. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Nick here in the trees there, as you can see. Up and in for birdie. Here on hole 11, the blue pin is actually the original basket, while on most of the holes, the blue baskets are new. And these guys are just going to come in here and clean these up. Mm -hmm. Tapping in threes. Yep. Easy. Yeah, we'll just leave that birdie graphic up because they're going to make all those. So uh, we had uh, all birdie threes on hole 11, moving on to hole 12, 405 feet uh, downhill, uh, maybe a soft par four, wouldn't you think, Seth? Definitely. These guys are thinking too, off mm -hmm. the tee. So it's downhill, and most of these guys are going to be going the wide hyzer uh, around the trees, as you see down in the bottom down there. And if I remember correctly, it wasn't the best win for this hyzer shot that they're going for. Mm -hmm. And that's just really high from Chris. Ended up working really well. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. down there putting for a two. Absolutely. 
see what Joey's doing here. Looks like he's going with a uh, backhand as well. Yep. That's mostly the play. Um, Sam might try to do the uh, lefty turnover inside, but, you know, he has a great flick. Mm -hmm. They can probably get to this pin, so we'll see what he's going to do. You know, we saw Zach Melton do that in uh, round one coverage here. Johnny, once again, just a hyzer shot. Absolutely mashing on that. Super high. That's great, though. Mm -hmm. Once again, down there punting for a two. So you big comment turnover. <laughs> so Sam actually looks like he's lining up beforehand. Yep. Just trying to go hyzer. Maybe try to go inside because that's that's you know, really hard to get over those trees. Mm -hmm. Looks like he did it actually when we're actually around them. Wow. Good spot. Going to be able to get up and down from there, hopefully. Mm -hmm. so Nick Masters here also had a, uh, a hot start this year. He's had seven wins in 2019. Four of those were consecutive wins, so it's got to feel good winning four tournaments in a row. Oh, yeah, definitely. Give you that confidence that you need, but that was a pretty good shot. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little inside. So I'm probably just laying this one up. Huh? Well, giving it more of a run than what I thought. Yeah, he, you know, he's got nothing to lose in this final nine. He's just trying to go up. Thank you with a long run. Yeah, it looks like he landed a little bit inside. Taking his time. Mm. Actually, a really solid bid from Nick. For sure. Joe here with the long one as well. Let's see if he can put it in. Oh, good run. Directly over it. Johnny just inside the circle. Landed in a very similar spot during round one when we uh, filmed the coverage here. See if he can make this though. Yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. Once again, you see the eagle graphic there. It's listed as a uh, par four, but as Seth said, these guys are not thinking that. Chris here in a great spot to get another two. And he does just that. Push himself out a little bit more. And Joey and the rest of these guys should be able to get their threes. a hole that you want a three almost every single time. Mm -hmm. Yep, and all these guys do just that. Mm -hmm. All those guys getting the birdie except for Chris, pushing himself out it once again. 14 clear of the field. Mm -hmm. Hole 13 here is a Good righty hole. Um, the righty hyzer is going to be able to attack a lot more. Sam's going to be having a rougher time. Mm -hmm. Having to throw a forehand low. All these guys just go hyzers over the top. The wind was good for this one, though, as you just throw it high, and the, the wind there was just pushing it left, which is, you know, up towards that long basket. Mm -hmm. and he, it looks like Chris dropped down somewhere uh, close to the short pin. So, I mean, that's even an outstanding shot getting up near the short pin on this hole. Yep. Looks like Johnny's going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just cool. ripping it up there as hard as they can, just hoping that the wind's going to push it and really it's looking good. High. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the better drives I've seen on this hole. Mm -hmm. Joey looks like he's lining up the lower. Maybe some skip. Yeah, a little bit lower. Yep, that's a good shot, though. Mm -hmm. Yep, same here. Just happened to go forehand because that forehand over the top would almost be impossible. Mm -hmm. Probably going to follow Joey's line. Mm. Caught some early trees. Nick Masters here. Just going to go Roddy Heiser. Yep. 
looking for some skip to get up in there. Yeah, that's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Sam here is really tucked in on that left side. It's going to be really hard for him to get up to the basket. Not very many gaps over there. He's having to go flick. Mm -hmm. Can't quite see the basket, but it's up there to the left. That's, yeah, that's oh, yeah. a really good shot. From Sam there. You got Nick here. Get some good fitting. Trying to decide what shot he's going to take. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Eli Ferguson. Saw him during the round four coverage. Caddy in for Nick here in the final nine. Really making sure he lines this one up. Joey looks like he's going to the forehand. Maybe a turnover? Yeah, probably going to take that water gap higher percentage. He does just that. Beautiful shot. So yeah, Chris actually went past the yellow pin. That's just an outstanding drive. It's probably about 20 feet, you say, past the yellow pin? Yep. Just going to be tossing up there with the flick. Mm -hmm. Soft shot. Get him up there. Get his birdie three. John here, long look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely can do it. Well outside, even circle two. I've never seen that hole too, but... Johnny puts that one in. Let's just get a backtrack on the entire hole because this is not a hole that you're gonna to see too very often. Johnny with a huge hyzer over the top. He actually asked me after he hit that putt if I'd ever seen that hole too before and absolutely not. Yep, not until now. He played that hole perfectly, just gave himself a look and just happened to put that one in. You can see he's pretty excited to make that one. Mm -hmm. The crowd was roaring there after that. Uh, I don't think anybody had seen a two on that hole. Yeah. Nick, up and in for birdie. All these guys are just going to do the same, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Looks like a bunch of just outstanding upshots. Everybody within 10, 15 feet from the basket. Sim there after the really tough spot after the great upshot. Mm hmm. So uh, Dickerson's still doing everything he can. Uh, Johnny McRae, five down after uh, that hole. Going on to hole 14, 315 feet. Uh, this one is one of the original pins here at Rotary as well. Looks like Johnny's going to be going straight down the middle. He just kind of missed the main gap a little bit, but he's still out in the open. Mm -hmm. Easy up and down from there. Yeah, Chris, you're trying to line up that same exact shot. You can see that uh, tree down there that kind of S curves. He's going to try to go to the right of that. Mm -hmm. And Dickerson actually uh, going into this final nine after a 10-67 uh, rated round, 18 down at Cherokee Park. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. The round four coverage, just an outstanding round there. Yep. Joey here also had a great round. Uh, he got a little bit caught up on the last few holes, but he was putting together a very solid round also. Mm. And all these guys just catching some trees on the way out. Mm -hmm. I actually think the lefties kind of have a little bit of an advantage on this hole, being able to go flip because you're able to watch that gap that you're trying to hit the whole time. Mm -hmm. But Sam just turns out over a little bit much, catches that tree. Pretty difficult to get out of this gap right here. I mean, once you get out, it's wide open, but... Difficult hole. Yep. Nick is actually going forehand. You don't see that very often. Righty. Flick. On the right side gap. Mm. He catches a tree as well. Mm -hmm. Joey forced to take a knee here. Those low hanging branches there. Yep. Just going to be trying to Get up and down from here with a flick. Yeah, that 
looks great. Mm -hmm. Actually, a little bit long, but well, not too bad. You should be able to get up and down. Sam having to stretch out after a pretty tough lie, it looks like. Gonna be able to try to get up and down from there. Mm -hmm. Very difficult position on that left side there. Yeah, it's super thick over there. That looks really good from Sam from the spot he was in. Wow. Nick almost made it all the way out. Uh, it's just on the edge. Let's see what he can do. Looks like he's going to flick a, a putter here. Yep. He's up there. Beautiful shot. Chris should be getting that all day. Mm -hmm. Johnny here, a PDGA member since 1995 with 178 career wins. That's just insane. Playing disc golf longer than I've been alive. <laughs> Joe, we got a long comebacker here. Let's see if he can put this one up and in. Yep. Good putter, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dead center. No doubt about that one. Good putt from Joey. Sam, yep, mm -hmm. great putt from Sam, the rest of these guys should have no problem, I'm going to watch them tap in here, yep, no problems once again, Nick going to do the same, I think it's all pars on that one, mm-hmm, Move on to a tough hole, 15 here. Um, the blue basket's actually really back there and tucked. Really hard to get to off your tee shot, so let's see what these guys can do. What's these guys going to be trying to do? Maybe a hyzer flip up the middle. Trying to go straight through that gap you see there. Johnny got knocked down early. Yep, next up we got Chris here going for the unconventional route. He's going to be going hyzer over the top. Um, not very many people can do this shot, so it's pretty cool to see him try to attempt it here. Mm -hmm. I think in years past we saw a lot. Uh, James Snappy Cole, Will Schuster, a few people go over the top here. Not very many, though. Mm -hmm. Now it's crushed. Way up there. Just a little bit short left. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty tough, though. Yeah, it's very thick over there. I don't think anything over there has ever been trimmed, so it's just very thick. Joey just going for the gap straight at it. Oh, that's looking great. Yeah, he knew it. Hit a little bit of limb there and kind of redirected it a bit, but he's out there. That's a great shot. Yep. Sam going with the flick. Just trying to hit that gap. That's looking really good. Mm -hmm. Sam has a great flick for a lefty. Mm -hmm. Nick going with a uh, forehand. You don't see this very often for righties. No, um, the the righty forehand kind of fades away towards the basket, but he's probably just more comfortable with that, you mm -hmm. know. So it's just going to get him out in the gap. Mm. Not sure if he was trying to go inside left there, but... Ended up in a pretty difficult spot. Mm -hmm. Having to go with another forehand. Looks like an Anheuser turnover shot here. Might even be going roller. Not quite roller, you just kind of. Mm. Ooh. Did actually stand up and cut roll, unfortunately. Johnny inside. Mm. Almost got him around, but not quite. Probably a zone from Sam if I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, he hit the gap he wanted to hit. He's up there putting. Great shot. Joey just going to be trying to maybe even get a Oh, nope. Land that one up. Mm -hmm. Easy tap in. Yeah, he's happy with the three here for sure. Oh, yeah. This is for next par. Got a long look.
putting that one close. Mm -hmm. So this is Dickerson over here, a short left in the woods. Uh, probably not a whole lot of options over there. Yeah, we actually looked for this disc for a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people are out there looking for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just oh, makes yeah. it out great. Johnny loved it as well. Johnny's still in a tough spot. Maybe even trying to make it. Mm -hmm. Couldn't really give it a great run. Did what he could. Mm -hmm. Chris after his toss out of the woods. Looking for a par save. Yep. Straddle putt and see if Chris can put this one in. Oh yeah. Great par save after he ended up in those woods over there. Stay out of the woods though. Nick going to tap this one in, unfortunately, walk away with a bogey on this one. Yeah. I'm sure he's not happy with that, but pretty good after his uh, unfortunate drive. Mm -hmm. A couple of pars from Sam and Joey. Joey with the turbo tap there. Mm -hmm. Short little turbo. Uh, Johnny's trying to chase Joey down, 49 down and 51 down. We've got a battle for second place here. Yep. Uh, moving on to hole 16, 445 feet. Uh, this one's a par 4. Basically on this one, there's going to be wanting to throw directly towards the short pin and fade off to the left. Chris, a little more inside maybe than he wanted. Yeah, probably, but, you know. He's got a few to play with, so. Yeah. It's Wouldn't be too good. worried about it. Yeah. Joey going with the backhand as well. Going to be trying to go a little bit farther than Chris's. Just makes the upshot a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Flipping up. If he can get around that. Oh, yeah. That's in the perfect spot. Wide open mm -hmm. for his next shot. You can see the uh, blue pin is still pretty far back there past the short pin. Sam going with a flick off the tee. Yeah, and that's a great oh, looking yeah. flick. Great turn. Oh, almost skipped it in the yellow basket. Johnny going the backhand. He actually makes it inside into a great spot as well. Mm -hmm. He's up there around the same spot where Joey is. Those are just great placements right there. Yep. See what Nick can do. Come back in. Inside as well. He also made it through though. Mm -hmm. It's a great shot. Oh well. Chris here, having to go flick, maybe that tree, looks like he's going to flex it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate thing about this hole, sometimes the uh, yellow pin can be in your way and go into the blue pin. Luckily, Chris uh, stayed a little bit to the left, didn't have to worry about that. Looks like he really committed to that shot, oh, just yeah. caught a late tree. I remember when I was filming that, I thought that one was going in. I am looking like a jump putt. Yep. Maybe just trying to lay it up near. Oh wow. Giving it a very good run. Yep, good shot from Sam. See if Johnny can can another way outside the circle putt. Just mm -hmm. high. Mm hmm Probably not quite what he wanted, but he's gonna be out of here with his three. Mm-hmm. Joy with the closest drive. Or the longest drive, rather. That's just way up there. You're not going to see a lot of shots up there, so very impressed with Joey's backhand on this hole. I think Masters is well playing for his mm -hmm. Eagle 2. Just oh, kind yeah. of a long putt. Yeah, actually, I'm sorry. I misspoke there. Nick actually made it closer than Joey. That's way up there. Oh, oh. 
Gave it a good run. Dickerson to save his par. Oh, actually, this would be for birdie. Yep. This one's one that actually on the tee side it, it says par three, but there was a little bit of mis misinterpretation when the signs were made. This is actually a par four. Chris getting his birdie after a great putt. Mm -hmm. So it looks like he's having to straddle around that tree. Yeah, probably not the most comfortable putt, but he's pretty close, and he's able to put that one in. Mm -hmm. Same as well, a similar spot. I can go to the right of that tree. These guys all tapping in their birdies here. See if Johnny can do the same. No problem. Yep, Dickerson and uh, McCray, both five under. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the what I would say is the hardest hole on the course, hole 17. Mm -hmm. 455 feet. There's just not that much of a open fairway on this one. A lot of luck involved in this hole, in my opinion. Yep. I would say the play is to land at the short basket. If you land at the short basket, you're going to have a great look mm -hmm. to get to the long. Joey going forehand roller. This is a play that I see quite a bit from righties, trying to get down there, avoid the trees as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe left that one a little straight. Yeah, hit that tree and actually redirected it. So oh, wow. He's way down there. Went past 18's tee pad. That's actually a really difficult spot to be in, though. Oh, he's yeah. going to be super cut off from the basket. Sam going to the forehand. Maybe caught a little bit of that tree, but still made it down there. Mm -hmm. He's close to the yellow pin, so he should have a decent upshot, hopefully. And that's the gap right there in front of that big curvy tree, and it looks like Johnny just hit a tree. Mm -hmm. Nick also lining up the backhand. Yep. Once again, just going to be throwing that righty hyzer, trying to get over there to the short pin and be able to throw your next shot over to the long. He actually might have gripped that one a little bit longer than he wanted. He ended up catching a tree, and he's in a pretty difficult spot, actually. Mm -hmm. Tucked in a little bit to the left. Got to give a shout-out here to Logan Bowers of Innova Discs. Check out the uh, 2019 Morristown Spring Fling coverage. Logan just outstanding drive going through the left side off the tee so check that out Johnny pinched up on that small tree stump there yep might be in his mind a little bit mm -hmm. just taking a small little step there throwing a hyzer and just short mm -hmm. Joe here out in the field he's Probably going to be having to throw just a shot to get towards the gap. Yep. Chris there in a weird footing. Yeah, he's in a bunch of trees right here, just in a little bundle of trees. And it doesn't look like too many options from here. I went in between those two. Really weird shot. At least advanced, advanced down the fairway a little bit. Mm hmm. Sam having to reach out a little bit, go and flick, just trying to finish left over there, give himself a putt. Super hyzer and looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a great shot from Sam. Yeah, he'll be putting for a birdie three. Joey after having to toss up into the gap, just gonna be looking to maybe jump putt it up towards the basket. Oh, wow. Oh, get out and run, you know. Mm -hmm. Chris, after that awkward lie on his second, going to toss up on here on his third. Not much, too much to worry about. Self a little hyzer shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be able to save his par from there. Johnny with another long look. Let's see if he can put this one in.
Ooh. Gave it a rub. Yep. Nick actually going sidearm. Maybe in a little bit of rough. Still gave it a pretty good bid though. Mm hmm Same with only real look at a birdie three here. See if he can make this one. Oh yeah. That's an outstanding three on this hole. I think it's going to be picking up a stroke on the card. Mm -hmm. And Nick and the rest of these guys are just going to try to tap in for their pars. Dickerson looking to do the same. Yep. Dickerson is another one who's had uh, a lot of I had a very good year with 10 years, or 10 wins this year, rather. Uh, just an outstanding year for Dickerson. Johnny tapping in his. Shout <laughs> out to Mike Smith. All of us locals know him. Great guy. So Sam with the only three there. Outstanding three on that hole. And then the final hole of the tournament is here. Uh, 775 foot par 5, hole 18. That's a great rip from Sam. Lefty Hauser going to put him way out in the gap. See, there's quite a few people there watching mm -hmm. the, the finish of this tournament. Maybe, maybe a lot of pressure on Dickerson on this drive. Eh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. It looks like he's uh, trying to turn that over. Get away from the OB and then flex out towards Might even the middle. Try to, yeah, he's trying to oh, throw a roller. Roller, wow. That's really far. Yeah. That makes the hole a whole lot easier. Mm hmm. Joey looks like he's also lining up a backhand. Yep. Doesn't look like he's quite lining up the roller. He's just giving that quite a bit of flex. Mm -hmm. Just getting it over there in the fairway. Maybe not enough flex. Unfortunately, that one landed OB. Yeah, that's unfortunate from Joey. Yeah, that's got to hurt with uh, Johnny trailing him here on the last few holes. And uh, Johnny actually absolutely mashed this hole on round one coverage. Threw it about 600 feet off the tee. Same disc in his hand, no surprise there. See if he can do it again. It's looking good. Oh, yeah. That's way up there. Yeah, not quite as good as his first one, but still a great drive. Mm -hmm. Being able to do that makes this whole whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. Nick maybe lining up a roller. Uh, not quite. Yep, just the turnover. A lot of turn. Mm -hmm. It's a great looking shot coming out of it at the end. Oh, yeah, he got a lot of distance on that one. Yep, he's also way up the fairway. Joey, after that unfortunate OB stroke, just looking to put this one close and finish off his tournament. Mm -hmm. Probably with that OB in mind, he left that one go a little bit hyzer. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking he doesn't want to go OB. Yeah, for sure. Let's see what Nick can do here. Lining up a forehand. Looks like it's high enough. Yeah, that's looking great. Oh, yeah. He's up against the mulch. Mm-hmm. Joining with a very easy shot, for the him at least. Mm -hmm. Putting it up there close. Sam also had just had an absolute crush on this hole. Yep. Great up shot as well. Chris after the super, super long roller. Mm -hmm. Looking like he's going flick A2 or A1, just trying to put it up there on the mulch. Almost throws it in. Yep. He knows he's got this one locked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe here to finish his turn on a really great putt. Let's see if he can. Mm. Just outside the circle there with an the elevated basket. Yep. Slightly elevated, at least. Just a little low. Yeah. 
Johnny is Johnny on the other side of the spectrum, a little high. Mm -hmm. Nick looking to put this one in for an Eagle three. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, great. Great three for Nick. Mm -hmm. See everybody there. A lot of people after finishing their rounds, they came over and watched the final nine of these guys. Johnny with the hat tip there. Let's see what's Sam. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. But Eagle three as well there. Joey gonna tap his in, get out of Chris's way, and with this putt, Chris Dickerson is a uh, three-time uh, consecutive three-time yep. Tennessee State Disc Golf Champion. So uh, Dickerson uh, really just found his game on these courses and has been executing every year. You can see Dickerson ended up seven down. Uh, Sam Lee also shot seven down. That's great for that final nine. Yep. Dickerson finished out with 68 down for the tournament. Uh, once again, I want to thank Seth for joining me on the commentary. Yep, thank uh, you. Yeah, and shout out to you. You actually had a good placement. You were one stroke out of a top ten. Uh, placement there. Yeah, and, I finished pretty well in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Beating out such names as uh, Matt Dollar, Will Schuster, Dutch Napier, Trevor Harbo. I mean, uh, just an uh, outstanding tournament and uh, a good shooting out there, Seth. So once Thank again, you. thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks to Jason Basinger, my brother, for doing the catch cam for me on the weekend, and Jason Griffith did as well. Uh, if you want to check us out on Patreon and support our efforts, you get to see our videos first. Uh, you get discounts on merch and all kinds of good stuff. So Check us out at patreon.com slash bdgc and also on our Facebook and Instagram at Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN. So that's all. Thanks for watching all the coverage. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. With like, was he uh, zooming in right close? It was six. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Yeah. Bay Singer. Bay, Bay Singer. Bay Singer. What's the full name of the Bay Singer's Disc Golf Channel. Bay Singer Disc Golf Channel. Channel. Bay Singer's Disc Golf Channel. Here, we'll do it this way. All right, we're getting ready Look to right have here. the Man Pro going off. And I want a big thank you for somebody who's been out here working hard the last three days, even longer, setting some of it up. But uh, Bay, Singer, Bay Singer's Disc Golf Channel and video the lead group. All four rounds, and we're doing the final nine. When he gets it all edited, I will send out one of those messages, like I email all of y'all every morning and say, hey, here's the final nine, and those of us that didn't get to watch a lot of play can actually see how the lead card did in all four rounds as well as the final. So thank you a lot for being here. Get off the deep end, Nick. <laughs>